Hi, Isaac. I sent your friend request. Okay. Testing. One, two, three, testing. I, um, don't know if I'll accept. I'm pretty selective. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Is this thing on? <laughs> testing. One, two, three, testing. Stop. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll accept because I'm, um... Testing, one, two, three, test... Pretty selective about who I put on my friends list. I wasn't, but recently... I don't know, I don't like looking at my friends list and just seeing a bunch of people that I never even talk to or play games with or anything like that, so... Yeah... I'm feeling this. I like this interface. Tropical Green Jungle. It's cool that there are interface ones. Yeah, I'm liking this. That looks cool too. I want to try this one. Testing one two three. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since I hate you can it. tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I anyway. Here's my center of operations, yeah. my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases mm -hmm. in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. file. That will tell you all so about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. But hi, Isaac, how are you? Oh my god, why? I hate this. Get rid of that. Testing, what? Let's pick this one instead. Testing, one, two. Alright, that's better. That's groovy. That shit groovy. Alright, travel to Hawaii and spend three weeks working for Dr. Quigley Kim, an entomologist who needs someone to help her do field work on the big island. One of dad's friends saw the one ad she ran in his alumni newsletter and thought of me. I won't get paid naturally and I'm not exactly sure what someone who studies insects means by field work, but I do get a free plane ticket and I'll be working outdoors in one of the most beautiful places in the world. <clears throat> the only thing that kind of worries me is that instead of meeting me at the airport, Dr. Kim wants me to take a bus to this little town on the southern coast of the Big Island. I'm supposed to pick up the keys to the vehicle she'll leave for me there from someone named Big Island Mike at Big Island's Mike Immersion Excursion Center. Which means I'll have to drive to her field camp, which is deep in the rainforest by myself. But it's not like I'm going anywhere dangerous. I'll be in a tropical paradise. What could possibly go wrong? I hate Nancy. I hate her. Calling someone now is not a good idea. <laughs> Reading that can wait. I can, I can look in there later. What the fuck? Oops. I've never played this one before. I'm very excited for when I get around to that. And this one right here is my favorite, baby. I love this one. Curse of Blackmore Manor. That one's the best. I don't care what anyone says. That one's the best. It's the best. And Ghost Dogs is really, really good, too. Love me some Ghost Dogs. There's Scarlet Hand. Final scene. 
Treasure on a royal tower. Message in a haunted mansion. Stay tuned for danger. The secrets can kill. It's haunted carousel stream. Not not too long ago. Danger by Deception Island. Shadow Ranch. Old clock. Flash train to Blue Moon Canyon. I like the puzzles in this one a lot. I really fucking like the puzzles in this one. Probably my favorite one with puzzles, besides like Curse of Blackmore. Damn, it goes Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon and then Danger by Design. Danger by Design is a lot older than I thought it was. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Why am I hearing whispering? Stop that! What the fuck? Monka. <clears throat> what the fuck? Just die. Oh. I was really weird. a really weird way to start off the game. Frank and Joe! Let's go. <laughs> the game literally just starts. Let's you call them. Joe Hardy and or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Uh, Hi guys, it's bye. Nancy. I'll just call you back later. Bye. Ned Nickerson, who the fuck is that? Never heard that name before in my life. <clears throat> Creature. I can't leave this place until I get the keys to that car Dr. Kim left with Big Island Mike. See, this game wants to be real life so bad. This is literally real life. You put real life in the game. Like, bro, relax. I don't even look that good. Like, who do you think you're fooling? Immersion, excursion, experience Big Island Mike's unique try it and trade it system for learning and cashing in on the skills of ancient Hawaiians. Looks like you need some kind of special money for this. I barely have any real money. I like this music. Try it and trade it. Must be part of the immersion excursion thing. I probably mm -hmm. shouldn't go touching anything in here without permission. Why not? A little surfer shack. Too bad it's closed. Whoever runs it is probably off surfing. A little surfer shack. Too bad it's closed. Whoever runs it is probably off surfing. I wish I had time to fish, but I don't. Okay. Oh! Hello? So did you arrive okay? Ned, hi! Oh, perfect timing. I just got here. In fact, I'm on the beach. The bug doctor's on the beach? 
No, I still haven't picked up the key she left for me. I'm kind of goofing off. Well, I wish I could be there with you. Believe me, it's done nothing but rain nonstop since I dropped you off at the airport. The sky's just this constant shade of gray. It'd be depressing even with you here. But with you not here, it's... Oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe this, but Frank and Joe Hardy are here. What? Are, are you sure? Positive. Hey, listen, I'll call you later, okay? But... Bye. Nancy? <laughs> what are you doing here? Bye. I just got Gotta here. Talk to I'm going to be helping this entomologist dad heard about do field work for the next two weeks. What are you guys doing here? We got here yesterday. Believe it or not, we're on assignment. Joe, keep it down. Richard Aikens, the CEO of Aikens Biotech, he hired us to do kind of a background check on Pua Mapu and her father, Mike Mapu. She's an up-and-coming world-class surfer. He runs a local business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions. Shut up. Let no Frank kidding. talk. I'm supposed to pick up a car at Big Island Mike's. What does this Aikens guy need a background check for? He's thinking about using Pua in the ad campaign for one of his products. He wants to make sure there aren't any skeletons in either of the Mapu's closets before he makes her an offer. Since she teaches surfing for her dad, we signed up for one of his immersion excursions so we could get to know her and make sure she's as squeaky clean as she seems. Joe. Aikens figured someone who was closer to her own age could find out a lot more than some private investigator. So, you were basically hired to vacation in Hawaii and learn how to surf. Is that what you're saying? Don't worry. As soon as the opportunity presents itself, we'll be doing some hardcore snooping, too. Yeah. Aikens wants us to make sure Mapu's business is also squeaky clean. But the guy never leaves his office, which so far has made rummaging through his paperwork impossible. So, you're doing field work for an entomologist? Yep. Just me and Dr. Kim and a couple thousand of her closest insect-type friends. Out there in the jungle. Well, watch out for Kane Okala. Aw, Joe. Watch out for who? Kane Okala. That's Hawaiian for rough-skinned man. He's this legendary guy who got half burned up in a volcano a millennium or two ago. Joshua and now, Graham. whenever something really bad happens on the island, people start saying they've seen him in the jungle. He doesn't like people messing with his island, see? So he goes on these rampages. Apparently, his temper is as nasty as his complexion. And there have been a lot of sightings lately. Probably because of the pineapples. What's wrong with the pineapples? The pineapples have been growing so poorly on this part of the island that people say there may not even be a local crop this year. But nobody can say why. Although I'm willing to bet this Kane Okala guy could. Joe. If he really existed, which of course he does not. Happy, Frank? Well, I better get going. Good luck, you guys. I have my cell phone, so keep in touch. You too. In fact, if there's anything you need out there... Food, toiletries, monster repellent... Call us anytime, okay? Okay, bye. Bye. See you, Nance. <sighs> bye, Frank. And Joe. Okay, so what's weird is like, this is one of the games where you see Frank and Joe Hardy and you can play as them. But Joe's voice is the same, but Frank's voice is different. So Frank's voice is not the, the voice that we're used to. And it's so sad because it's like, I really like Nancy and Frank together, um, and I like the normal voice actor for Frank, but he's not in this one. But we see Frank, and we play as Frank, but he's not in this one. Like, he's not voiced in this one, and I'm just like, I have opinions. Why are they cooking this man? <laughs> I don't know. They were just going off. Yeah, that was funny. Dude, we were talking to Ned and we were just like, oh, Frank Hardy, bye! <laughs> and I honestly love that for her. Like, honestly, who's Ned? I've never even heard that name before in my life. So. I guess we should call him back. I guess... Frank doesn't look too bad in this game, though. He kind of looks how I picture him before I knew what they look like. But we're not going to talk about Joe. Joe's a... We're not going to talk about him. I hung up on Ned. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, you did, Nancy. Yes, you did. How are you doing, dog? How was your stream earlier? You have reached... Joe Hardy and or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. At the tone, please leave a message. 
Hi guys, it's Nancy. I'll just call you back mm -hmm. later. Bye. Hi, Ned. Sorry I hung up on you like that before. Believe it or not, that was the Hardy Boys I saw. They're here, too. No kidding. Doing what? They're on assignment. They're doing a background check on this local surfer girl. Somebody hired them to check out a surfer? And her father, yeah. They're getting paid to check out a Hawaiian surfer girl while you're camping in the jungle chasing insects for free. I'm still supposed to be on Demon Souls, but if I on again, my jaws are gonna fall off. Damn. So wait, why why are you in here? Are you supposed to be sleeping? Hey, Dr. Kim paid my way over here, don't forget. Nancy, in case you're wondering what that thing you're holding is, it's the short end of the stick. Very funny. So what's going on? I don't think I played this Nancy Drew game. Honestly, I don't think you're missing out. I haven't played it recently. I, last time I played it was when it came out, which is like 10 years ago or whatever. Um, but it's like, I was reading the reviews and it's mixed on Steam. Like people are like, this shit sucks, it sucks. The only good thing about it is the Hardy Boys are in it. It sucks, it doesn't make any sense, it's bad. That's all from here. <laughs> and I'm oh, like, okay, okay. I, I guess will. I'll play Bye. it then. Um, but, yeah, from what I remember when I was younger, when I actually played it, like, and I think my standards were a lot lower when I was a kid, to be honest. Um, I don't, I don't think it was that, g I think it was one of my least favorites. I can't just keep walking down the beach. I need to pick up those car keys from Big Island Mike and go meet Dr. Kim. Oh my god, but I want to go on the beach, Nancy. Please. What the fuck is this? What the fuck am I doing? Where am I? What the fuck am I doing? This makes me miss um, that show called H2O. The, about those three girls. I miss that show. Should never have gotten canceled. Aloha! Just off the bus, huh? If you're looking for a real deal Hawaiian vacation, you got off at the right spot. What's a real deal Hawaiian vacation? You sign up with Big Island Mike, you'll live like a real Hawaiian. <laughs> work like they work, play like they play. No tourist stuff. From me, you get authentic. Bruh, what is with the outline of, of him? Like, look at his arms and his fingers. Like, why did they outline him like that? He looks like he's a Borderlands character. As a matter of fact, I ran into a couple of customers of yours on the beach. Oh, the two boys from the mainland. Oh, yeah, they're having a great time. See, I'm like a tailor. Only I don't make clothes, I make vacations. Real, honest-to-goodness Hawaiian vacations. Custom-made to fit just you and you alone. I don't you like, like the beach? I'll get you to the beach, but I'll also keep you busy. Busy doing things real Hawaiians have done for a thousand years. And you'll have a good time doing it, I'll make sure. In fact, I've got a couple of guys staying here about your age. They're from the mainland too. I got those boys surfing, shelling, fishing, snorkeling, everything. You sign up, you'll do everything too. Maybe even at the same time as them, huh? I, okay, I don't like him. And his face scares me. And what's the difference between a real Hawaiian and a fake Hawaiian? Like, can we not, like, gatekeep? <laughs> the fuck? Phantom of Venice. Honestly, Phantom of Venice, I haven't played since it came out. And I remember really liking that. But I don't remember if I liked it because of the puzzles or if I was just like, Oh my god, we're in Italy. And <laughs> fucking ten-year-old was... Ten-year-old me was like, Oh my god, Italians. And... <laughs> I can't remember if I, like, legitimately enjoyed the game, but I remember it being good. He said, I think a new Nancy Drew game next, or a new gen Nancy Drew game would be fire. They released one in, like, November of fucking 2019 or whatever. Midnight in Salem, that shit flopped because it's in Unity Engine. Like, that shit was, oof. Oof, that shit was not good, but...
Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the most, like, current gen or whatever, which is looking as foot. Uh, I feel like the most current gen Nancy Drew game would be Sea of Darkness. That's the most recent one that came out prior to the Midnight in Salem one. Um, it's on Steam, and I, I haven't finished it, but what I played of it was pretty pretty interesting, I guess. Um, Loki, that shit gave me nightmares. That's fair. I did play a few Nancy Drew games, though, when I was a kid. They scared the fuck out of me. Like, Curse of Blackmore Manor, that one. That one's fucking freaky. And then, what else scared me? Um. I can't remember. Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake scared me. But, in, like, a, in, in like a good way, I guess. Um, but it's not with you. I'm just here to pick up some... Car keys. Sounds interesting, but I'm just here to pick up some car keys. My name's Nancy Drew. Oh, you're the wahine who's going to be working up there in the rainforest with Dr. Kim studying bugs. You're going to have to pick them up and put them in jars and stuff. Well, I hope so. I think bugs are really interesting. Better to be working for Dr. Kim than up at the Healy Healy. That doctor there, he makes people mess with stuff way worse than bugs. What kind of stuff is he doing? Nobody knows. Big mystery. People who work at Healy Healy, they never stay long. And when they leave, they don't talk. Be that as it may, I'm supposed to get a key from you? Dr. Kim arranged for you to use one of my rigs. Got the key right here, but know what? I'm not gonna give it to you. You're not? A big island, Mike, immersion excursion beats chasing bugs around the jungle any day. And to prove it, I'm not going to give you the key until you go to the beach, collect some shells, and make a necklace for me. You can put the shells you find in here. Make me an aloha necklace. There's a picture of it over at the necklace-making table. But I... I really think I should go meet Dr. Kim like I'm supposed to. You make the necklace, I give you the key. Only you know what? You're not going to want it anymore. You're gonna walk on the beach, look for shells, sit and string them. You're gonna get so relaxed, you're gonna come back in here and say, You were right, Big Island Mike. Forget the bug doctor. Sign me up. You'll see. I'm being held hostage by Big Mike. Oh, the Hawaiian police. The Ghost of Thornton. Yeah, yeah, that one was dope. With Nancy Drew games as a kid, they're just, but they're just so good. Honestly, I would never have thought that you'd play Nancy Drew. You know, I don't know why, but I'm pleasantly surprised. To hear that you have. A brand new plant virus, Monka. <clears throat> it's a very, it's got a very niche, like, audience, so to speak, I guess. Where's the necklace? Listen, Snitch do you really think Dr. Him. Kim would approve of your waylaying me like this? Eh, probably not, but see, I don't approve of everything Dr. Kim does either. I heard that something weird seems to be going on with the pineapple crop this year. What have you heard about it? It's the Healy Healy. Whatever they're doing up there, it's gonna end up ruining the pineapple fields. The newspapers know the truth. They're just too afraid of the Healy Healy lawyers to write the truth. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got a necklace to make. Good idea. What a weirdo. I can't leave yet. I still need to get that car from Big Island Mike. Hmm. 
Dude, I could go for some fucking Big Island Mike told me to make an Aloha necklace. Shaved ice or whatever the fuck that was. Oh my god, I could ah, go. Ah, here that. we go. So what shells do I need? I could go for that shit. Oh lord, have mercy. Shaved ice or bald ice or whatever the fuck it's called. Bald ice. I don't fucking know, dude. I don't be knowing. I can't just keep walking down the beach. I need to collect shells so I can get those keys from Big Island Mike. Oh my god, I have to collect shells. And they were roomies. <clears throat> Did I check all the spots? A good chunk of my, like, not a ch well yeah it is a chunk actually a good like three like four inches are off I my can't screen. just keep walking down the beach I need to collect shells so I can get those keys from Big Island I Mike I can't see them um, I can't see it on my l on my left side it's weird it is very weird Young PC experience. Yeah, I used to play a ton of Sims myself. But I never really played the game for the game. I just played it, like, because I liked the customization and shit. I never really actually, like, liked the game. Weirdly enough. It makes me, like, I don't know. I love modding sims, it's so much fun, but like, literally I don't play the game, and I don't want to play the game, so it's almost like a waste of time. That's why I'm thankful for stuff like, and I and I love like Second Life modding too, it's so much fun just to customize like, your own world, and your own like, house, and your own character, and everything, and literally if something doesn't exist, you can make it and put it in a game like I love that but like Second Life isn't a game it's just like a virtual world where you talk to people you know what I mean so like that and Sim Sims has a game but even then it's like it's just a, it's not like I know it's a game but it doesn't really feel like a game it just feels like one big chore for me that's why I'm super thankful for, for things like Skyrim Skyrim modding because it's like even if you do everything in Skyrim like you can mod it to be a different game like you can mod Skyrim to be like Dark Souls or some shit it's not but like it can feel like it is so that's dope but yeah I don't really fuck with Sims anymore But I totally get why people do. I mean, to customize like that is so much fun. A lot of fun. Um. <clears throat> They're beautiful. I'll just give this to Mr. Mapu and be on my way. go back to the beach and get more seashells because I don't know how often they spawn <clears throat> but I'm guessing yeah okay
<clears throat> so I think this is gonna be mad annoying collecting these seashells. They're gonna make it a fucking pain in the ass, I'm sure. <clears throat> You finished the necklace. If you could give the extra shells I collected to those two guys from the mainland, that'd be great. May I keep the necklace I made? Sorry. My idea? My necklace. But the rig key is yours. Thank you. Damn, they just hey. took the One shells. One more thing. Kane Okala. Mr. Mapu, I already heard about him. I really need to get going. It's the people at Healy Healy. <laughs> They're doing something that Kane Okala doesn't like. That's why he's back. The people that say he's just a legend, don't believe them. I'll remember that, really. Hope I don't regret this. The rig's out front. Got a GPS system and everything. The location of Dr. Kim's camp's already programmed in. Well, it was nice meeting you. Mahalo. Damn, I collected those shells just for Frank and Joe's stupid ass. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Oh no. I wanna go here. I'm not supposed to, but I want to. So I'm going to. Actually, I'm trying to find Dr. Quigley Kim. Sorry, there's no one here by that name. This is a private facility, so I have to ask you to please back your car up, turn around, and leave. That's not going to help me get in. Sorry, please back your car up, turn around, and leave. Sorry, please back your car up, turn around, and leave. Sorry, please Let's back your boy. car up, turn around, and leave. What bridge just broke? Because if I'm at the research facility, then the bridge... Oh. You're saying the bridge broke to Big Mike's. I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Stuck Nancy. in a ditch. Great. Well, hopefully so Dr. Kim will be able to help me get it out. Uh-oh. Sounds like I missed a call. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. Hi, Nance. It's Joe. Listen, Big Island Mike heard on the radio that the bridge on the road leading to that bug lady's camp just washed out. So I hope you get this message before you get to her place. Because if you've already crossed the bridge, it sounds like you won't be able to get back into town for a couple of days. Oof. In any case, be careful. And again, <laughs> if there's anything Frank or I can do, just holler. Take care. <sighs> so, on top of being stuck in a ditch, I'm stranded in the jungle. <laughs> well, at least I'm not alone. I mean, I won't be when I find Dr. Kim. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. <clears throat> what happened? And where's Dr. Kim? Big oof. Somehow I've got to get this thing out of that ditch. <clears throat> A witch. Hmm. I can't go anywhere until I get this thing out of the ditch. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? Puzzle. A tape recorder. 
There's a tape in it. Looks like it needs to be rewound. I'm Dr. Quigley Kim, and this is an oral record of my activities on the Big Island, beginning with today, March 11th. Hopefully, I'll remember to use this thing every day, but I much prefer writing things down. And frankly, I don't care much for hearing myself on tape. It makes me sound very nasal for some strange reason. Of course, this whole recording thing was my father's idea. I mean, just because he always kept an oral journal when he was in the field, he automatically assumed I'd want to, too. So he practically forced me to... Ugh, there I go again. Well, at least with this thing. When I start digressing, I can just push this button and... Already, I'm forgetting to use this thing. Okay, now it's March 15th. My camp's all set up and my equipment's all ready to go. So tomorrow, I'm gonna start rigging frass traps. I probably should have started doing that today, but I spent the whole morning observing a colony of feral bees. Man, I hope somebody answers the ad my mentor placed in that newsletter. If she could get me an assistant, I could spend the whole day observing whatever insect I want. Oh, would that be cool or what? March 19th. This has never happened to me before, ever. But when I was out checking traps in the jungle today, I got the weirdest feeling that I was being watched. I mean, it was broad daylight, and I didn't see anybody or hear anything, but I just suddenly got this creepy feeling that I wasn't alone. Then, after about three minutes, it went away. I, you know, it was just weird. It's March 24th. For the past two days now, I've heard this very odd humming sound coming from way deep in the jungle. Okay, to be honest, it sounds more like okay. whispering. One minute it's there, next minute it's gone. And I have no idea what's causing it. I don't even have a theory as to what's causing it. I hate that. It's March 28th. Great news. Actually, lots of great news. I just got done with my initial frass jar content analysis, and it looks like something really strange is going on with the Norse Beta Odorata larvae around here. Once I run these numbers through my formula machine, which I'm retrieving from my trunk, even as I speak. Bro, I just had to take a screenshot of that because what the fuck? I just took a screenshot of this shit. Because I know I'm going to need to know it. I know I'm going to need to fucking know it. So, one second. Let me write it down. So we got Lee Blah 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 Blue. Okay, great. Excellent. Love that. <clears throat> Once I run these numbers, I'll know for sure. And I'm getting an assistant. Oh, Somebody shit. Okay, cool. It's March 24th. For the past two days now, I've heard this very <clears throat> odd humming sound coming from way deep in the jungle. Okay, to be honest, it sounds more like whispering. One minute it's there, <clears throat> next minute it's gone. And I have no idea what's causing it. I don't even have a theory as to what's causing it. It's March 28th. Great news. Actually, lots of great news. I just got done with my initial frass jar content <laughs> analysis, and it looks like something really strange is going on with the Norse Beta Odorata larvae around here. Once I run these numbers through my formula machine, which I'm retrieving from my trunk, even as I speak, once I run these numbers, I'll know for sure. And I'm getting an assistant. Somebody named Nancy Drew has agreed to fly out here for a couple of weeks and work for me. Which means I'm on the verge of fame, a fortune, and free labor. Woohoo! 
It's definitely a person. <sighs> the tape ran out. What it was that? I sure hope Dr. Kim is okay. That sounded like a person. Just like a big angry man, I guess. Dr. Kim, <laughs> are you here? Hello? Anybody here? Dr. Kim? She's gone. Ugh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Mm. Interesting lock. Blah. Okay, so there's six. So. One. There's blah. Okay. One. One. Blow, I didn't even hear. Blue. Is three. Blah. Is four. Blah. Three is six. So it goes. Six, four. Oh shit, wait, what's Blizz again? Blizz, five. So it goes, um. Six, four, five, one. Four, four, two, wait, three, fuck, I fucked up. All right, six, four, five, one, one, four, four, three. <clears throat> Malachi Herbert Craven, IQ of 182, maintains blog, solar power, area code 312, Chicago maybe? Okay, what else do we have in this trunk? A security pass for the Healy Healy Research Center. Maybe someone there knows where Dr. Kim is. Hmm. <clears throat> Must be Dr. Kim's notes. Whew, looks like Greek to me. <clears throat> the radio doesn't have any power. <clears throat> Hello, is anybody out there? Hello? Hello? <clears throat> Still no power. <clears throat> Nancy, welcome. Use this radio to call me at this frequency, 18.305 QK. But it doesn't have power. Wonder 
what this thing does. Put your head in there. See what happens. I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it. <clears throat> hmm. Somehow I've got to get this thing out of that ditch. A solar panel. Looks like this is what powers the radio. Hmm, some of the photovoltaic cells are missing. <clears throat> hmm. I can't go anywhere until I get this <clears throat> I thing out of the ditch. The hook to the cable first. There, it's out of the ditch. Listen, I found this pass, and I wondered if... I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to put your hands up. Put my hands up? Who are you? Where did you get that pass? Uh, which question would you like me to answer first? That pass was not issued to you. Now where did you get it? I think maybe I'd like to answer the other question. I found it. Where? at Dr. Kim's base camp. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm Dr. Kim's temporary research assistant. Today's my first day. Are you... I'm Malachi Craven, of course. I'm the head of this facility. Now explain yourself. I have that pass because when I arrived, Dr. Kim's base camp was all torn up and I couldn't find her anywhere. So I went searching through her stuff for something that might tell me where she is. I thought that since she had that pass, someone here could tell me where she is. Well, you thought wrong. And for your information, that pass was reported missing. She probably stole it weeks ago. So you don't know where she is? What does this place look like to you? A missing persons bureau? This is a private research facility with highly restricted access. All right, that's enough. Excuse me? You're jumping all over me when the only thing I did to you was tell you the truth. I know who you are, Dr. Craven. I know you're an incredibly gifted scientist whose work has never been fully appreciated. In fact, as an amateur horticulturist, I would give anything to know what you're doing with the plants in here. But being a genius does not give you the right to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. Everything you just said is quite correct. The genius part rings particularly true. How do you know about me? <laughs> what the fuck? Your blog is awesome. I read a lot. Like I said, I'm kind of a science freak. If you're interested in horticulture, why are you assisting an entomologist? Why is this any of your fucking business? Do you know where Dr. Kim is or not? Hokey pokey. Hmm. 
Well, bugs and plants do kind of go hand in hand. And when I heard there was a free round-trip ticket to Hawaii involved... Smart girl. I'm in desperate need of some photovoltaic cells so I can repair a solar panel back at camp. And I know you're a big proponent of solar energy, so... Could you by any chance spare me, say, nine cells? Tell you what, I'll give you all the cells you need after you harvest at least a dozen seeds from those plants down there. They represent an extremely promising cultivar that I've well, hybridized. Dang Unfortunately, I've developed some kind of allergy to them, so that just being in the same room with them has me scratching like a dog at a flea circus. My getting seeds from them is out of the question. But since you're here, you can do it. Great. Just pick a few pods, pop them open, and put only viable seeds into mm. the container. To know what I mean by viable, just read the notes that I left down there. No problem. Good. Bring me 12 viable seeds, and those cells are yours. Where are those seeds? Could I ask you a question first? The sooner you're through, the sooner I can incinerate those infernal plants. Now, I strongly advise you to get to work. What the fuck? I ask the other fucking questions first. I'd love to see what's in that pocket, but if Dr. Craven caught me snooping in his things, whoa. Either go back inside or put on a suit. Oops. supposed to let you in how could you just leave like that when you haven't collected those seeds you're not gonna start shouting at me again are you young lady you are trying my patience how could you just leave like that how dare you Rich brown color. I need to take Dr. Craven at least 12 seeds. I have a rich brown color and a distinctive white splotch. There, 12 viable seeds, I hope. What happens if I leave now? Does he lose his shite? Let's see. 
good to you, so sweet. Yeah, you got a soft little butt and soft little face and a little butt and a little face. Oh my God, you're so cute. You're such a good boy. State your biz. Oh, it's you. I'm supposed to let you in. Finished. Finished. Very good. These will do just fine. And so, as I promised, instruct Olsen to put a box of A3 photovoltaic cells into Miss Drew's vehicle as soon as possible. Right away, Dr. Craven. Unfortunately, even after I've destroyed those little green devils, I'm told it'll be some time before this itching stops. I've heard that bathing in oatmeal and He's baking soda mad. helps relieve itching. I was prescribed an antihistamine, but I'm afraid taking it will make me too sleepy to get any work done. What makes you think Dr. Kim stole that security pass? I, uh, that was just my temper talking. I obviously have no reason to suspect the good doctor of any criminal activity whatsoever. Have what you ever fuck? met Dr. Kim? Possibly. I don't honestly remember. From what I've read about her research, I have no real desire to meet her, quite frankly. He's gonna get mad. Any chance you could give me a tour of this place? None whatsoever. This is a private facility. I'm under no obligation to put my work on display or explain what I'm doing to anyone, except my employer, of course. But what you're doing does involve hybridizing plants? Look here, Nancy. You're obviously familiar with me and my previous accomplishments, mm -hmm. so I know how exciting all this must be for you, but I'm simply not at liberty to discuss my current project, though it is truly spectacular. Sorry. I guess I'd better go look for Dr. Kim. By all means, farewell. Somewhat to my surprise, I find that I actually don't mind talking to you. You see, Thanks. I have a niece back in Philadelphia who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Insisted on majoring in English or sociology or some such drivel, but a very mm. bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father, my brother, and I don't get along, so I... I don't get to see her anymore. Anyway, what can I do for you? Guess I'd better go look for Dr. That's Kim. Sad. Marvelous idea. What is it now? Guess I'd better go look for Dr. Kim. By all means, farewell. That sucks. That's booty. Booty cheeks. What is this? Looks like I need a special key. I want to click at the button. I should not pull a lever, but I'm gonna after I save. Okay. He dancing. Is that a brain? Glowing fungus? Jesus Christ. Let me load because I'm scared of that noise. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. I'm so proud of you. Twitchy. Is stuck in my head. Show my fucking Hannibal video. Where these new cells go must have something to do with the numbers on them. But what? <clears throat> uh, so six plus four is ten, plus three, ten, twenty-two, eight, sixteen. Nine. No, that's not right. Hello, my math. Ten, ten, so thirty. It has to be thirty. Ten, 
Fuck. 10. Shit. 10, 14, 17, 26. Wait. <laughs> Math! Okay, um. 10 plus 9 is 19. Plus 3 is 22. Plus 4 is 26. So this has to be 4. Alright, and this one. 1. So. Uh, 8. 16. 4, 3, 23, 24. So this has to be 6. So 6, 6 is 12. 9 is 21. 4 is 25. So this has got to be 5. Then this is uh, 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus. 8 is 18, plus 2 is 20, 27, so this is 3. Um, 7 plus 7 is 14, 20, 29, so this is 1. Uh, 10, 17, 21, this is 9. Uh, 10, 15, 10, 21, 6 is 27, 28, yo, fuck math, fuck that shit. There, it's working. Oh, that was Some scary. kind of hook would be good here. at this frequency 18305 This is Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Dr. Kim, are you there? This is Quigley Kim. Nancy, that you? Yes, I've been worried about you. I'm in a hurry to meet you too. I've been worried about you. Your camp is a mess. Someone ransacked it. Where exactly are you? You can find me at Big Eagle Rock. The exact location is north four hours by west five degrees one minute. Could you please repeat that? Oh, and be sure to bring my Dr. Kim, I can barely hear you. Could you repeat those coordinates, please? Well, I rarely get over now. No, wait! I still don't know where you are! Dr. Kim! Nancy Drew, calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Come in, please! Oh, great. All I heard was green trigger rock or something. How am I supposed to figure out where that is?
state your business, please. Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your car up, turn around, and leave. No, no, Dr. Craven will see me, really. Just call him, please. <sighs> Dr. Craven? What? The young lady who... Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in, just for a few minutes? Let her in. What is it now? Oh, bye. Guess I'd better go look for Dr. Kim. Marvelous idea. What is it now? I still need to find Dr. Kim, so I'd better go. By all means, farewell. Welcome, Dr. Say bye. Adios. I think I have to call the Hardy Boys. Life work, biochem? Dr. Kim, you're finally calling? No, my name is Nancy Drew. How did you get this number? Well, you see, I... Hello? Hello? The fuck? Bitch. Fucking bitch over Fuck you, Dan. The fuck? Fuck you, Dan. When's the last time I... Oh! Do I really have to go through that conversation again? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Why am, why am I the way that I am? 18305. Calling someone now. Uh, yes, I am finally calling. What's wrong with your nose? You sound so normal. Oh, well, I've been taking antihistamines. How did you get this number? Well, you see, I... Hello? Hello? Fuck. Eighteen three oh five. Power. That helps. This is Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Dr. Kim, are you there? This is Quigley Kim. Nancy, that you? Sorry. Yes, I've been worried about I you. We could skip this. I'm gonna hurry to meet you too. I've been worried about you. Your camp is a mess. Someone ransacked it. Well, as you are a cop, move out here. <sighs> Where exactly are you? Could you please repeat that? Oh, and be sure to bring my... Dr. Kim, I can barely hear you. Could you repeat those coordinates, please? Well, I rarely get... Oh, you is over now. No, wait! I still don't know where you are. Dr. Kim! Nancy Drew, calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Come in, please. Great. All I heard was green trigger rock or something. How am I supposed to figure out where that is? Oh my god, I called Ned on accident. Fuck a duck. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, how's it going? I went looking for Dr. Kim at this private research facility and found a mad scientist named Dr. Malachi Craven instead. Ever hear of him? No. Is he a bug guy too? 
He's part botanist, part biochemist, but mostly he's a grouch. What's he working on? I have a feeling it would be a good idea to find out. Rumor has it that the Healy Healy, that's the name of Craven's research hey. facility, rumor has it that whatever he's doing up there is destroying the local pineapple crop. Yikes. Well, that's it for now. I miss you, you know. I miss you too. Talk to you soon. Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. What's going on? Yeah. Well, after I finally got Big Island Mike to give me the keys to the car Dr. Kim had arranged for me, I started driving. Whoa. So what did Dr. Kim say when you told her somebody or some no, thing had Frank. torn up her camp? Frankly, Frank? I'm not sure she heard me. The radio connection we had was really bad. In fact, she rattled off the coordinates of where she is now so I could plug them into my GPS, but all I heard was north 19 degrees 20-something. I think she said she was at Green Trigger Rock, but I could be wrong about that, too. I don't suppose you'd happen to have a map of the island, would you? No, but I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I'll even ask Big Island Mike. I'm still waiting for a chance to do some snooping around his desk. Well, if you find out anything, give me a call. Remember, what Dr. Kim said sounded like Green Trigger Rock. Green Trigger Rock. Will do. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Richard Akins is unavailable. Please leave a message. Hi, Mr. Akins. It's Joe Hardy. Nothing important, just checking in. Talk to you later. Why is, why does Joe have the same handwriting as Nancy? I think our gig is way better than hers. Oof. Big Island Bucks if I want to buy that. Can't fish till I get some bait. Hey, Joe. Ready for another lesson? Still recovering from the last one. <laughs> you did swallow a lot of water out there. Well, I'm sure Frank swallowed a lot of water the first couple of times you took him out, right? Actually, Frank's doing okay. He hasn't come off his board once. Of course, that might change when he actually stands up on it. Frank hasn't stood up yet? Oops. I probably shouldn't have said that. Look, mm. how about we change the subject? Are Frank and I your only pupils right now? Pretty much. You guys are the only excursions Dad's got going this week. I coach some local kids, but they've got finals. Ever wish your dad had chosen some other way to make a living? Heck no. I mean, we don't live in a mansion or anything, but we got food, we got clothes, Dad gets to show off his island, and I get to surf. Far as I'm concerned, we got everything we need. How come I've never heard you say anything about your mom? She died when I was 10. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry. That's okay, you didn't know. Besides, Dad wanted to keep me busy, so he taught me how to surf, something my mom was always dead set against. He also quit working for the pineapple company and went into business for himself. She wouldn't have liked that either. So everything kind of turned out for the best.
What do you think about all this Kane Okala stuff? I'd rather not say. You'd laugh. So you believe he's real? Look, first the Healy Healy Center closes its doors to visitors and gets real secretive about what it's doing up there. Then something goes wrong with the pineapple crop. Coincidence? I don't think so. I mean, Kane Okala has shown up before when somebody endangered the islands. Why shouldn't I believe that he's back? He showed up before? When? My dad said that after the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, people saw Kane Okala all over the place, including my grandfather. You gonna call my grandfather a liar? I'm saying that yes. sometimes people, especially superstitious people, sometimes they see what they want to see. Well, I'm not the least bit superstitious, and I swear Your to you, was a I liar. have seen Kane Okala. Now, Amscray, I gotta work. Can't talk. Still working. Sorry. Did I upset you? Did I upset you, you poor little girl? Hey, what's up? Think you could explain this try it and trade it system of yours again? Real simple. Over at the necklace making table, there's pictures of the different necklaces you can make out of shells, okay? You collect shells, you make something, you turn it in, you get whatever the picture says it's worth in Big Island Bucks. You get enough Big Island Bucks, you can buy some fishing gear and bait. You go fishing, you catch something, you turn it in, you get paid what it's worth. The better the bait you buy, the bigger the fish you catch, and the more Big Island Bucks you get. The more Big Island Bucks you get, the more stuff you can do in here. You see? A never-ending circle of fun. Everybody wins. Especially you, right? Since you get to keep everything we trade in? Hey, the more money I bring in, the less I gotta charge customers like you. You can put the shells you find in here. Whenever you're ready to turn something in, necklace, fish, whatever, go see Pua, not me. She's in charge of doling out the Big Island Bucks. How long have you been in this business? Five years, give or take. Pua's idea. She saw this whole extreme vacation thing coming. I thought she was Papule, but turns out she was right. We've been making money since day one. My daughter is one smart wahine. You sure keep her busy. Keeping her busy keeps her out of trouble. Surfing keeps her out of trouble, too. She's head over heels in love with it. And look at her. She's a champ. Future's as bright as they come. Turned into your basic all-around good kid, huh? With Pua, what you see is what you get. Just wants to surf. And be the best in the world while she's at it. You're always in here working. Don't you ever get to get out and enjoy paradise yourself? Well, if somebody'd catch me six Ulua, I'd have an excuse to drive him into the market in Hilo and on the way back do a little body surfing at this great little beach I know. I'm game. What are Ulua? Big shorefish. Real good eating. Just so happens I got their favorite food right here. Well, get ready to take a little time off, big guy, because I am on it. Hey, what's up? Are you familiar with a place in the jungle around here called Green Trigger Rock or something like that? Never heard of it. And I know this island better than anybody. So if I haven't heard of it, trust me, there's no such place. Well, hang in there. Have fun. Something else? Well, better get going. Paradise awaits. Have fun. What's going on? You feel the earthquake? Yeah, wasn't that great? Sure, it was a blast, if you don't count the sheer terror part. I love earthquakes. It's like standing up on a big, huge roller coaster. You're not concerned about the damage they do? What good does being concerned do? 
Look, until somebody figures out a way to stop earthquakes, they're gonna happen. So I say, why not enjoy them? What else do you like to do besides surf? Nothing. You beat more people at one time. I bet you way. like to play video games online because you can beat more people at one time that way. I surf till it gets too dark. I come home, I eat, I go to bed, I get up. I surf till I gotta start teaching. I help my dad. That's it. That's my life. Think that'll change when you win the championship? You bet it will. My dad told me if I win, he'll hire somebody to take my place here, which means I'll finally be able to surf all day. See, what you don't seem to understand is I get all the kicks I'll ever need out there on my board. Yeah, okay. See you around the campus. It's been real. Yeah. Sure, sweetheart. You might think I fall for that, but I I don't actually. I'm not actually fall for that. Sorry. to go up here and then it resets I'm guessing I have to go like up here and then it resets no you're seeing how far I have to go before it resets them maybe it's time maybe it's a time thing I guess it's timed. That's gross. One Ulua down, five to go. Come to Papa.
Five of those fish. Joe, what are you doing here? You should be out there surfing. Pua says you're a natural. She does? Oh, come on. She probably says that about all her students. No, she doesn't. In fact, I can't repeat what she says about some of them. So, how'd you like that earthquake? Frankly, it was kind of scary. Got my heart going, that's for sure. Pele must be mad about something. Pele? Hawaiian goddess of fire. Her home is in Kilauea Volcano. When she's mad, she makes the ground shake. When she's really mad, she sends lava down the mountain to gobble up her enemies. Who are her enemies? People who do bad things to her island. Or fail to show her the proper respect. Or people she just plain doesn't like. Who knows? Compared to Pele, Kane Okala is a noisy little fly. He's nothing. But enough about Pele. Go, get outside. You're in paradise. Enjoy. Well, hang in there. Later. Want something else? Well, better get going. Paradise awaits. Later. Guess I didn't get enough of the fish. Oh, I oh god, that's ugly. I don't like it. All done. I just have to keep grinding this, which is absolutely fucking horrendous in every way. So that's cool. I guess. <laughs>
Gotcha. Oh my god. Is that the big one? I don't understand. <clears throat> Lua number six. That ought to do it. Okay, I had to get six of them. My bad. Thought I only had to get five. Hey, what's going on? Can I turn this necklace into you for some Big Island bucks? Let's see it. Nice job. Here are your Big Island bucks. Pleasure doing business with you. See you around the campus. It's been real. So I have to give her the, the necklace? What the fuck? That's weird. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Those fish you wanted me to catch? Well, here they are. What do you think? Hey, you did it! Wasn't sure you were ready for him, but looks like I'm gonna have to stock the store with Ulua bait from now on. Tell Pua as soon as I'm done here, I'm driving up to Hilo. Last I saw, she was still trying to teach Frank how to surf. Your brother's a slow learner, huh? Welcome to my world, Mr. Mapu. Have a nice drive. Hey, what's going on? Trade you these fish for some Big Island bucks. Let's see what you've got. Looking good. There you go. I'm rich. Okay, what else? See you around the campus. Cool beans. Nuts, no more bait. So you could pretty much just milk that. Like, since you have infinite bait for that, for like trying to get that guy his fish, I'm wondering if you could just get a ton of fish with that bait. But I don't know if it would be worth it. I don't know. Ah, alone at last. March 5th, delivery from JK exclamation point exclamation point. Wonder who or what JK is. That's not going to unlock this door. So, if I were Green Trigger Rock, where would I be? Wait a minute. Three finger rock. That's what that bug doctor must have said. Three finger rock. I'd better call Nancy with these coordinates. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Nance. Good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are 
north 19 degrees 24 hours 42 minutes by west 155 degrees 9 hours 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Hey! Ugh. Oh my Ugh. god. Hey, Nance, good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at three. This motherfucker just rock. got knocked the out. Coordinates are north 19 degrees 24 hours 42 minutes by west 155 degrees 9 hours 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Thank you, Joe. Joe just died. Rex, thank you for the biddies. Joe, wake up! You have reached Joe Hardy and or Frank Hardy. Only we're not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Hi, Joe. Just wanted to thank you for the coordinates. Talk to you later. North 19 degrees. Oh my god. North 19 24 hour 42 minutes west 155 degrees 9 hours one minute. Fourth, nineteen, twenty. 24 42 West 155 9 1 What is that sound? Okay. Are you 
Dr. Cam? Yes, your timing couldn't be better. Nancy Drew, I presume? That's me. Terrific, because if you're Nancy, then you know who I am, and we can skip any further time-consuming introductory rigmarole and get right to work. Sound good? May I ask you a question first? <sighs> Make it fast. We've got a lot of work to do. What would you like me to call you? Dr. Kim? Please. Just call me Quigley. Hearing someone call me Dr. Kim makes me think of my father. He was a herpetologist. He collected snakes. Whereas I, from a very young age, collected insects. A hobby which he wholeheartedly endorsed. Of course, this was because he was secretly feeding my insects to his snakes. And to this day, I hate snakes. There are no snakes in Hawaii, you know. No native species, at least. Nuts. If you're going to work for me, you cannot let this happen. What? W what happened? In case you hadn't noticed, I'm totally off subject here. I have a very bad habit of digressing. So from here on out, it's your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Okay. Good. Now, I'm roped into this tree so I can observe a nest of parasitic wasps. I believe it's a nest of Pristomeris hawaiianus. But Hymenoptera aren't really my thing, so I could be wrong. As you know, I'm much more interested in Lepidoptera, the larva of which many wasps prey upon. Specifically, I'm studying Norsa Beta odorata, which, interestingly enough, are carnivores themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ichneumonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva of the Norsa Beta, although I... Nancy, I'm digressing here, am I not? Oh, I know, but what you were saying was so interesting, I, I didn't have the heart to stop you. Oh, well... <laughs> point taken, but try not to let it happen again. So, let's get to work, shall we? Where's the clipboard? What clipboard? I told you to bring my clipboard when we talked on the radio. She's one of those people. Um, passionate? <laughs> What's wrong with being passionate about your job? I couldn't hear you. You kept cutting in and out. I don't know, Nancy. You're getting off to a pretty shaky start here. The sooner you get my clipboard, the quicker we can get started. Oh, Fucking shoot. Bitch. I forgot to tell her that somebody trashed her camp. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Quigley! I'm not coming down until you get my clipboard. Nothing? Well, I mean, you said, oh, Christ, she's one of those people. Like, it's, like, a really bad thing, so. That's why I asked that. Sleepy. Good boy, it's okay. You sleep, you go to sleep. Good boy. Quigley, could you come down here? You've got my clipboard. Good. Let me have it. The first page is gone. Why'd you tear it off? I, I didn't tear it off. Then where is it? 
I don't know. Nancy, I asked you to get my clipboard. How could you screw up something as simple as that? I didn't tear that page off. Wh whoever trashed your camp did. Trash my camp? What are you talking about? When I got there, your camp was a mess. It still is. It's like someone came in and just tore the place apart. Oh. I tried to tell you over the radio, but the transmission kept breaking up. Well, life goes on. That missing page was critical, but fortunately, it was not irreplaceable. I'll just have to collect and analyze all the data again. Or should I say, you'll have to. No problem. You'll need to locate all my frass jars and empty each one into a color-coded baggie. Each jar will have baggies hanging nearby. Then return to my base camp, sort the contents, record your counts, run them through my formula, and report back to me. Uh, could you maybe repeat that? It's all on the clipboard. Just do exactly what my notes say and you'll be fine. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, but I'm on the verge of making a huge discovery here, Nancy. Huge! If the figure you arrive at confirms the one I arrived at yesterday, we are talking major, big-time, worldwide fame. We'll be on Oprah, late-night talk shows. Somebody might even make a movie about this. In fact, I met this producer when I was in L.A. last year. Well, he hasn't produced anything yet, but he has this thing about butterflies, so as you can imagine, we hit it off. Quigley! What? You're digressing? Oh, right. Well, just get going. I'll give you the whole scoop after you do that analysis. Fame and fortune await! Woohoo! Okay. So I did the baggies already. Green, orange, yellow. I'm missing green. I'm missing orange. green and orange. That's yellow. Blue. It's red. Okay, maybe they aren't here. Damn it. Note and identify proximate vegetation. Record code in analysis grid on clipboard. I'm going to have to identify the plants the traps are hanging next to? Yikes. All right, Kapu Cave. Okay, that explains why they aren't here. So Kapu Cave is North 19. It's so fucking hard to read this shit. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay. Do north 
19 20 and then 30 and then long is <clears throat> Brain's done. Oh, I'm just done. Look at all those webs. I wonder what made them, and why are there so many? Wonder what the deal is with this guy, and what's with all the animals on his teeth? Something goes here, but what? I have to figure out what vegetation is what. I think I have to go back to the research facility. Because how else am I going to know what plan is what if I don't ask the plant expert himself? Hilly Hilly Research Facility. business please hi i'd like to see dr craven dr craven isn't seeing anybody right now oh God, so just back uh, your car hello. up turn around and leave and you just let no, me no, in why do we have to go craven through this every time me. really just call him please <sighs> dr craven what the young lady who dr craven it's me nancy drew i know you're busy but i really enjoyed talking to you before could i come in just for a few minutes let her in what is it now Oh my god. I'll go now, but I really appreciate your talking to me. Good luck entomologizing. You really have nothing to help me with? How am I supposed to know which fucking plant is what? Like, are you fucking serious? Literally, how do I know? Literally, how do I know? All right. Hello to Balogna. How am I supposed to know? Oh no, the microscope lens is broken. How am I going to do all that press sorting stuff without a microscope? Hmm, where could I find a spare lens around here?
Hello? What the fuck? Am I supposed to go, go back to that dude and ask him for the scope? Like, Jesus Christ. Please let me fucking in. All right, lady, hold it right there. He probably shouldn't have done that. What is it now? I need a microscope lens to complete this job Dr. Kim gave me. Only hers is broken. Do you have one I could use? Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. If you want it, you'll have to earn it. The plants down below need to be fertilized. Think you could handle that? You bet. Good. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you make an error, it will be immediately apparent and needless to say, I will be extremely upset. Got it. They took the card from me. They took the card for me, which means, do I have to go through this dialogue every single fucking time? Are you out of your fucking mind? This is such bullshit. Why don't you just let me in each time? Like, I have to keep coming back. State your business, so please. Fucking Hi, I'd Literally like to see so Dr. Dumb. Craven. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your car up, turn around, and leave. No, no, Dr. Craven will see have me. Have fun really? going through just this call every him, time. Please. What the fuck? Dr. Craven? What? The young lady who. Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in just for a few minutes? So Let her in. What is it now? I have thoroughly enjoyed talking to you. Back to the salt mines. Hi ho. What? What is it now? I'll go now, Hello? but I really appreciate your talking to me. Back to the salt mines. Hi ho. Oh my god, did I not check the fucking I'm going to shoot myself. Did I not check the microphone or the mic? Oh my god. Oh no, what oh the microphone? Fucking Jesus Christmas. Okay. I guess I don't have that thing anymore. I guess I just have to go through the dialogue each time. I don't fucking know, dude. It's insane. It's truly dumb. Whatever. Truly twisted. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse 
surprise me. That should do it. What is it now? I fertilize those plants. Good job. The microscope lens is yours. Anything else? I should go. This has been a real honor. Good luck entomologizing. Yes? He did what? No, 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 no! Those ceilings were irreplaceable! How could anyone be that stupid? Oh, tell me his name. Well, you tell Mr. Fighterman that he is fired. If he isn't off the premises in two minutes, I will come out there and throw him over the fence myself. Yikes. If you have any regard at all for your personal safety, Ms. Drew, you'll leave now! Oh, Jesus. All right. Stupid GPS bullshit. Like, just take me to my destination. Holy fuck, you don't have to play the same fucking scene over and over again. Once is plenty. What I need is a lens. Looks like this has a built in scale. We'll start with red. Okay. Non frass objects. Note weight of frass and record in analysis grid on clipboard. Note the number of seeds and record in analysis grid on clipboard. Let me take a screenshot of this. So I can... Did that work? So I can just pull it up on my other monitor instead of having to write all of it down. Sort all non frass objects. Fuck. <clears throat> um, this shit is frass. These are seeds. <clears throat> Insect. Seed. Insect. Seed. Seed. In 
insect insect seed insect seed seed okay i think that's all the frass Rate of frost and record and analysis. 99 for red. Number of seeds. Oh god. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Am I dumb? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hello? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How did I count thirteen? What's wrong with me? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Jesus. Richie, can you stop? Thanks. Good boy. Detritus predominance. What is that again? Detritus predominance? That should fucking what the fuck does that fucking mean? Detra fucking what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Oh my god, the fact that I have to Google what this fucking means. Is immaculate. Immaculate.
Count the frass, bug parts, and seeds. Put it in order. For example, if there are five brass pieces, two bug parts, and seven seeds, it would be seeds, brass, bug... Can you stop? Seeds, brass, bug parts. Then look on the clipboard for the detris. Oh my god. I cannot do this puzzle right now. This is a puzzle with 30 puzzles inside of it. I cannot do this right now. I'm going to sleep.